okay so hi uh, so today uh, we will we have some interesting thing um, uh, so i am sharing my screen some dynamic property of uh, css is my screen visible to everyone yes okay so first of all uh, today we have two uh, things uh, one is uh, css variables uh, another is css functions so how we can use C we have css variables uh, variables in css we can use them uh, as we uh, use on sas so later on next week we learn about sas so as sas you all know we can use variables but uh, as sas in sas we also have uh, variables we can declare variables and you, we can use them so it is very helpful when we uh, when we are working on a, a big application hmm. so how we can use variables on uh, uh, css so that is our today's first thing so i'm closing the rest of the things okay variables okay so what is variables you all know variable is a uh, variable in variable you can add values and you use that variable any everywhere in your application uh, so here we are assign some uh, value to some variables and use them wherever they required and if you change that variable uh, values then it will be impacted in all area wherever that variable is has been used so here uh, how to how we can use variables in uh, uh, css uh, css variables have two property mainly uh, that has some uh, local variable okay so it has some global scope and local scope so first of all first of all how we write how we declare variable in css so in css uh, we um, have to declare uh, variable in this way so first double hyphen then the variable name so with variable we'll always start with uh, double hyphen and then name so then the name can be capital letter with small letter not number uh, with hyphen with underscore you can use in the variable name yeah. so variable always start with double hyphen remember that string the variable always start with double hyphen then the variable name then colon then assign the value whatever you uh, want to assign so i have created three variable here for the color values one is blue i assign the this color blue color to this variable i have a white variable i have assigned white color and black so you can assign the different uh, way so like uh, radius assigned I create a variable border radius and i assign value to 20 yes okay so this can you can do that also so so i started with uh, i have assigned three color variable so how you can use variables so here see uh, on the on the body okay on the body itself i assign i declared that variable uh, the background this is the background and i have declared the variable here like this the var within the first bracket the variable name i have added the variable name okay so we have to write this way first the property in the css then in place of value just add var that is that stands for variable then the name of variable within the first bracket okay so if i if i run, uh, run this okay let me run that uh, 
this CSS animation, this is variable. Okay. So see, the variable, uh, the color has been added to the background of the body. So inspect, let's inspect it. If you select the background tag, the body tag, the background color is here. Okay. So the variable and hyphen hyphen blue is here. Okay. So what is the advantage of using variable? So you are working uh, on the on a project uh, for last one year, and uh, next year uh, the uh, the client has uh, thought had a thought that uh, we need to revamp the whole application. We need to change. We have uh, we we will change the logo color. We will uh, redesign our branding. So then, what will happen? So this, if you if you have to do uh, the change the color in every places on your uh, throughout your application or throughout your CSS, that is very difficult for you to change the color everywhere wherever you use the colors. So if you if you use the variable and use uh, declare the variable and the color values on the uh, variable name, just change the just change the color value in the uh, the variable and the whole branding will change in just a uh, few clicks or uh, few with few changes so that is the power of a uh, variable so you just you just change uh, the alternate the variable value of the variable and uh, the whole thing will uh, will be revamped very quickly okay so this way we are we can you can use variable so what is the what how we uh, uh, write a variable variable always start with hyphen hyphen then the name of variable then colon then the the assigned value of the variable in the variable for using variable select the property then uh, very var for variable and then within the first bracket let's say I am changing it to black. So now, now I am assigning yeah. with some hyphen missing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's say change the color to FFF. So within few changes, uh, uh the name the, the theme will change uh now let me assign i am creating a div okay i have uh created uh, here the border radius and if you uh say i have uh, a border radius i have uh, assigned uh created a variable like border radius and when you design now we follow some uh follow some ui consistency okay so the border radius uh, of the application throughout the application we try to maintain same on the input on the text box on the card um, on the, the parent container wherever we have border radius we have almost same border radius on everywhere so we we can make a variable of border radius and use that border variable on the on on, on throughout our uh, css so next day if we change to if we have mind to change the water radius uh, to increase or decrease the water radius we can do very easily with help of uh, css uh, with help of variables so here you can see we write the variables in under root so what is root so root is a global selector okay so root is a global selector so here under that selector we mention all the variables now in container I have two equal to, and I have and let me change the color. I'm assigning a different blue on same variable limit. Okay and inside the container background 
in first bracket blue. So uh, now refresh the page. See, so I have let's check blue here. B so I have assigned the blue variable on body as well as container. Okay. See here the blue whatever we used on the uh, on the parent one, the body one that is different, and whatever we have on the container inside the container that is different. So so here is the difference. So inside that whatever we have uh, mentioned or create variables inside the root that is that has a global scope. And we can easy, we can also create the local scope, the local variable inside any class and use that on inside that class only. So that is the local scope of variables. So you have all aware that the local and variable global scope of variable. So I just uh, explaining how you can use in the CSS as well. So inside any class, you can override that uh, uh, global uh, property of the variable global value of the variable and you can using use that uh, variable inside that class so it is the uh, uh, so this is uh, css variables you can use css variable this way so any question in css variable regarding that uh, border radius uh, yeah border direct radius. Yes, define that uh, variable that uh, order radius twenty pixel. Uh -huh. So different uh, different uh, order radius. I can define that uh, any variable to change the pixels size. Yeah, border yeah, yeah. You have border radius. See, you are border radius. So I assign max twenty pixel. Okay. So yeah. then again, I copy and write border radius minimum. Uh -huh that is five pixel okay so on somewhere you can use this variable as border area max that has 20 pixel value in somewhere you you have to use border as minimum so five you need five pixel border radius so you can use this variable so this is not a border radius property it is a variable it is a variable name okay yeah it is, it is the value don't mix with border radius uh, property uh, on classes. Okay. Thanks. So good with the good uh, with, uh, CSS variable. Uh, now I'm going next with uh, CSS functions. Okay. So CSS also, also have some functions, uh, inbuilt functions in CSS. So few of them we, we already used uh, uh, in the next few classes. So those uh, of you, them are URL. You all of you are using this kind of URL. Na? This is a function, a background. Okay. So let me change here the background. Uh, background of the. Let's change that background here. I have uh, I have downloaded an image pattern image. Okay. Now, mm, okay. So on background, I will apply that image uh, the with help of URL function. So I have selected the URL, then uh, selecting the source path of that image. Okay. So pattern dot chief. Okay. So. So I have uh, repeat zero zero. So check here. Okay. 
let's add it on 40 people you a better idea so i have added the uh, pattern background so it is a pattern okay so so i have a small image just uh, uh, this size of image and i have repeated that pattern okay uh, on the background so if you minimize the page or maximize the page it will uh, repeat itself on the uh, the background the the throughout the background okay so so you you can use a very small size of image and you can use that uh, image repeat that image on the background of anything so this way uh, you can use any background we are using a background if you if you think if you we have a large background size a large background image and and we will add on the background of our web page it will it will very heavy it will take a uh, much time to load the image on the background so so we can use the uh, use a small pattern and repeat the, that pattern on the uh, the whole web page with help of url property with help of url property you can use any image on the background okay this is the url function so url inside that just mention the path of the url i have added repeat so if i repeat uh, repeat at two property if, if i repeat x so what will happen it will repeat the image only on the x on the x axis okay so it, it this first one is this one then next till this then this this it it, it will repeat this way if we repeat it on our uh, y then it will repeat on the what y axis okay so sorry, y axis and if i re repeat this on repeat only repeat if i write only repeat it will repeat x axis as well as the y axis so b it is a uh, background is a uh, the background is a sorry url for the, this we did uh, with help of url url function so one more function we will use we use here uh, on the container okay calci function okay so the blue quick This is the calci function so calci function basically is a uh, uh it did uh, some calculation uh whatever we mentioned within the first bracket so so this function will uh, did that uh, uh the calculation and apply that value to the uh the the property the to the width so calci function i i let me write container so Calci. I I created a calci function class. Okay. Hundred percent minus. Five zero PX. So I have write that Calci inside that hundred percent minus two hundred five. Let remove this first. Okay. So what happened? So I have let me add a border. Border one pf solid and LC function function inside that container. But, uh,
see uh, the div it this is the calci div uh, the function div okay so this is the calci function div so i have write that, that the calculation uh, within that 100% minus 250 px that means it will automatically calculate what is the width of the parent container that is 100% minus 250 pixels so if i delete that to 250 pixel 50 pixel okay and what i did on that so, led by now it is a 25 pixel okay so i have 100 percent minus 50 pixel divided by 2 equal to the width of this equal is uh, total width minus 25 pixels so this this kind of calculation complicated calculation uh, you can do with in uh, css basically okay. with help of calci function so so i just mention here the eight function the popular functions uh, so it has uh, much much functions uh, many more functions on the uh, css so i have mentioned about the calci now the second thing is counter so what what count counter can do so counter can counter is uh, so counter function is uh, very useful uh, very useful functions so here we have first we have to reset the counter okay so counter uh, function will use on the the child element where we uh, have added uh, inside the parent we have added three four child or many more child and we need to uh, add a, uh, a, ta add a tag or a heading or a number or a bullet uh, so we can do that on the counter function with help of counter function we can add the that uh, numbered or the image sequentially one by one okay so to do that we have to first reset the counter so the count that the property is counter reset okay and here we mention the name of the counter so first we need to mention a name of the counter and reset that counter okay then then inside that element whatever we are uh, where we we want to uh, add that counter so select that so i have added h2 here i have selected h2 here so this is a the pseudo uh, element so i have done uh, cover uh, explain that what is pseudo class and pseudo element earlier so this uh, colon before is a pseudo element okay so on this, this pseudo element i have added the counter name the counter increment what we need to increment the counter number so this is the name of the counter huh. And here I added that what need to be increment the counter number need to be incremented, and what will be the content of the counter? The content of the counter will be class. This is a string. Okay, uh, you can add that class name, uh, class title. This is the uh, this it is a string. It will uh, render, and inside that counter you have added that counter name okay so it is a it is a string then just mention the counter function and inside that just uh, mention the counter function name so i have mentioned here the counter name here then uh, mention what need to be incremented the counter name need to be incremented content you have added the content class title then counter name. so what will be the result of this whole thing result is this okay here see so in every h2 before every h2 the class title one is added throughout css so the, this class is uh, in html uh, where is html yeah so here html we only have h2 inside that h2 that html tutorial css tutorial javascript tutorial python tutorial sql tutorial is here so so no class name title one two three four are present in the html 
okay so we have added through the uh, the that through uh, with help of css so we have added the whole thing that uh, the in before we have added this content okay title one two three so see here if you inspect the element on the before tag inside the before tag we have counter name and the class title and then counter number so one the first one the first child has one counter second child has two counter third child has three you can add space as well here okay if you add space here it will add space here so just like string in the double quote whatever you have right there it will automatically add on the as a counter okay so this is the counter function so i have shown you the url uh, function counter function calci function so you can search on the with uh, right on the google uh, just write on the google css functions mm, the best best uh, place where you can check that you have a list of functions okay? attribute function calci functions okay counter function cubic blazer hsl already i shown you uh, the color function hue saturation and lightness hsl a okay linear gradient function max function it is the max width minimum width okay radial gradient with help of this function we can create the gradient if we, if i permit time permit i will show you how to uh, create the gradient on css without using image okay so rgb i shown you the rgb color value okay rgba and variable that is also a function uh, okay inside that function we have mentioned uh, the variable name so the css has uh, the this list of functions we can use uh, on the uh, app, uh, any application so the these are common functions rather than have, oh, i have uh, we have many more functions so i have list few uh, 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 categorical function here so here uh, we have color functions so i have choose two uh, gray scale and black okay let me show you one by one yeah anyone has any question someone is some asking something no no okay so color function uh, so for the color function i have to download an image first So I love hills. System hangs. Oh. Okay, so now apply some um, other filters. So, div inside that div, I am adding uh img so c images So it is a class started with dot color function. Okay. So here let's uh, add first the grayscale. Okay. Okay. 
Mm. Let add that file on the background. Background URL. So earlier I have used repeat. So you can use no repeat if you want. Don't repeat that. Uh, if you want to, you want to repeat that image. Huh? So you can use no repeat. So it has four value: repeat x, repeat y, repeat and no repeat. So background I have used. Let's see here from here. I had a width. With x height one five zero yes color See here, the background I have added uh, here, uh, but it is the background is very large. A big picture I have added on the. So I am adding one more function, one more property. So see, the background size is hundred percent now. Okay. So it is automatically adjusted uh, on the deep. They showed uh, 150 by 250 by 250. Make it a big. Okay. So 250 is now 250, 250. So mm -hmm. let's move this one. Now I am adding uh, the class. Okay. Filter property, grayscale, fifty percent. Notice that change. So, without grayscale, it was uh, a vivid color. Uh, the the color was very bright. The sky and the the hills are very uh, hills are very green. Sky is very bright blue. Okay. So now. I have changed, applied the filter filter uh, property and the, inside the filter property I have used grayscale 50%. If I make it 100%, so the image will be black and white. So whatever image I have used on the background, that does not matter. I can change, I can apply filter on the image and make it grayscale make it black and white okay so this is the uh this that's why how you can use the grayscale property grayscale sorry grayscale function so now it is a filter actually the now i am adding a plot change So blur has uh, one. Filter blur. Okay. 
background. So if, uh, here is the filter property, okay. So blur, brightness, contrast, drop shadow, grayscale, hue saturation, invert, opacity, saturate, sepia, URL. So on uh, you can use all these uh, things on the with help with filter. We can use all these values in the filter properties. Okay. So blur is pixels. Okay. So check the demo. Okay. So filter blur equals to five pixel. Okay. So let's oh I have added 20. See the whole image is blurred by 10 pixel. Okay. So this is the one more fun, uh, one more uh, functions basically scale uh, with help of scale function you can scale anything scale any image so right here uh, remove the blur and transform in transfer property scale two so what happened with help of scale property, now uh, I have. Uh, so this is the normal size of the uh, div, okay, and I have added the transform property, okay, which will transform the trans transform this uh, div into scale by twice. So if I change it three, so it will thrice. The transform property will change the. The scale, the it will basically scale that uh, div by size three hundred percent. Okay, this is the uh, scale property. So basically, these properties are uh, required for the animations. So next of it, I will come to the animation part. Okay, so when I we do animation, we need this kind of property: the transform, transition, all these properties are required at the time of CSS animation. So animation functions, these are animation functions, scale. So now the rotate, transform, rotate. Let's rotate. Rotate it by inside rotate function, mention degree, B, D. And let's 45. So I have rotated that image, the entire div rotated by 45 uh, degree. Okay. So let's 90 degree, 90 degree, it will rotate. So you can add any, any, uh, any degree, 55, rotate that image. So in some place on the, on real scenario, we need to rotate uh we have some arrow on and on click or on hover we need to rotate that arrow to downward or topward so we can do this uh rotate we can use the tra this transform and transform property and rotate function to rotate that arrow so you can use that so if you if you want to rotate that uh down arrow to up arrow you just need to 180 percent so it will vertically vertically flip that image so 180 degree okay and again on hover or on click so if i add uh here the color function and color function hover okay transform one eight zero normally it will come like this 
so when i hover on the image it will uh, rotate to 180 degree flip so instead of this uh, instead of this uh, image you can use arrow so that will that will work similarly so on hover the arrow will go to downward on mouse uh, up it will go to the top the arrow will come on the top so use transfer you can use the transform rotate or any child pseudo class selector function so for this i need a table okay so let me copy a table if i want to write the table it will take a take time mm -hmm. Let copy a table. Yeah, the table I'll get it that on bootstrap. So let's go to bootstrap. Layout accordion list to this layer exercise table and table. Copy the table. So I just copied the code. Table. So it is a table. Uh, it has T head, T body, T R. Okay, all these things are here. So now uh, with a with nth child and uh, nth child, we can select the child property. Okay. So here we have three rows. Okay. So table. We have three rows. Uh, one, uh, three rows and three columns. Four columns. The number of columns, first, last, and handle. So let's assume uh, we uh, the requirement is is change the uh, change uh, the change alternate color, which is very common change alternate color on every row on the every alternate row change background color of the alternate row so how we can do that so we can do that very easily okay so i am selecting the table class with help of child okay so mm -hmm. dot table okay so we have to select first tr so tr is row okay colon okay. in th in its child so we need what every next child so to n background color play suppose ddb That's it. Oh, we have uh, let's we have only three row now, so let's add uh, one more row here. Help understand better. So, what I did here, so I added the background color on the every second row of the table. So, it is the header, heading one. First row is this one one, two, three, four. Okay, so this is the four one. So I did that very easily with help of CSS. How how we do that? I select the table selector, the class, then tr. What I need to select the tr. So I need to I will apply the style to the row only for row. So I select tr, then select nth child. Okay, so if I choose uh, nth child two n. So to what is mean by two n? Two n means every two. Okay. So in place of 2n, we can use even as well, uh, even or e v e n. Okay. So if we use even, so what happened? It will 
the background color will add on the event okay now now let's add any child odd and let's suppose add the background color here if 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 so i have added the background color to every odd or to white so this is white it, it is more gray So first is white, then second is gray, third one is white, fourth one is gray. So it will repeat itself. So throughout the table, we can apply with help of uh, nth child or uh, even odd uh, things. We can add the style. We can add the same. We, we can use the same thing in L, uh, ULLI as well. So whatever element has its uh, parent child relation, we can add that. Uh, we can add this uh, nth child relation. Uh, step is the nth child relation there. We can add uh, inside uh, inside any uh, uh, div also. So so suppose uh, in a div we have uh, we have 40 p tag. Okay, so 40 p uh, child is there. So we need to alternate the uh, we need to alternate the background color of every, or we need to uh, add some style style to the every three every every third p so we need to only change that uh, so in place of uh, 3 so 3n okay so so the, it will add the add the style to the every third child 3n so n means every okay so if you if if you give 3 then what happen so it will only let's suppose it will uh, i will add 4 here okay so let's see what happened. So four. So see. So what is defined the between the uh, four or four n or two n or four? So two n will apply in every second, every, every second number of row. But uh, if you put static value four, it will only uh, apply the style to the nth child only for the four, not every four. Okay, that is the main difference between a, using n and uh, uh, the static number. So this is the nth nth child uh, function. We you, you can use nth child of function. So not not is another important function. We are using uh, everywhere uh, in uh, our CSS. So it's so not function. Not function is like uh, we can use like not to start uh, colon. Uh, Okay, so start with colon, then not. Inside that, whatever you don't want to select that class or ID or selector or HTML tag, you just put that inside that not function. So if you want to P, okay, so it will the any everything uh, declared inside that uh, inside that uh, uh, class or inside that uh, style property, it will it will never select the P element. Okay. Rather than P, it will select all the elements. So it will never select the P. So if I see, if you select dot mm, header and add style uh, background uh, or no, so font size, font size 16 px. Okay. So if you write like this, not dot header uh, font size 16. So it will apply uh, 16 pixel font size with every element, HTML element, only which uh, only which have dot header class that don't have uh, that is not 16 pixel uh, font size that don't have the fixed 16 pixel font size. Okay, so this way we can use the not property as well. So you can use uh, this not property in real scenario in input tag in buttons in button states like hover the focus uh, not focus not hover so this kind of state you can use this not property uh, not function okay okay so I have covered some of CSS function here uh, pseudo element animation grayscale and 
And one last th interesting thing here, what is CSS from animation? So whatever we learn uh, today, uh, the uh, here with animation function, we will apply here with CSS animation. Okay. So let me open the animation. Okay. So here I have just added a div CSS and class animation. Okay. I have added this class animation to the div and And close this, close this, and edit the animation on the CSS. So for animation, uh, for keyframe animation, okay. For keyframe animation, we have to main. We first we have to mention the uh, keyframe animation name. So we have to give the name to the animation. Okay. So I have. Uh, uh, for keyframe animation, uh, you have to write this way at keyframes. Okay. You have to mention at keyframe, then the animation name. I just gave an example, uh, exam, uh, name animation example, that example animation. Okay. On uh, keyframes, you have to uh, you have to write that breakpoints. So 0%, 24%, 50%, 100%. You can change this breakpoint. I can do 35%. I can here write 60%. Okay. So, okay. So these are breakpoints. So I can add here 25%. Okay. And write assign the property. So what we'll do after 25% of animation. So basically, these are breakpoint of the animations. Okay. So what will happen with start? What will happen on after 25%? What will happen 35%? After 35%, it will change the background color to yellow and margin left to 100%. So these are the keyframes, okay, keyframes of the animation. So on the, no, uh, these are keyframes, start, keyframe 1, keyframe 2, keyframe 3, keyframe and end, 100%. So start with 0 and end with 100%, okay. So on uh, uh, on TV or uh, any uh, anywhere you see the animation, now, those are frame by frame animation. Okay, so all the uh, those are all images passing through fast. Uh, that will happen the illusion of the animation. The 2D animation is like that. So earlier Disney uh, Disney uh, uh, draw the picture by hand and passing through the camera one by one and running that uh, fastly. That will create the animation. So Tom and Jerry and uh, all these in DuckTales, those things are created by that way. So those are all pictures. Mm. So uh, so uh, this is a basic concept of uh, uh, animation, the keyframes. The keyframes are basically uh, the points where the changing changes are happened. OK, so start keyframe 1, keyframe 2, keyframe 3, keyframe 4. Okay. So I have these are keyframes. In how do you write to keyframes? The set of instruction started with at the rate keyframes, at the rate keyframes. Then the, it, it is a name that. Uh, Example, gender animation. Okay. So the keyframe has a name that is example animation. Okay. So on and uh, I will I have to assign that uh, uh, keyframes uh, to this and uh, to div. I will assign the the names here. Uh, the divs animation that is a simple class. And animation name I have assigned example. So instead of assign, example animation. Okay. So what happened? Let's see uh, how it will look, how it works actually. CSS animation run the animation page. Okay. Okay. So animation are automatically working. So let's remove uh, this counter. I, I will explain all these things one by one. So, so how it's work is start with red color. If you check, uh, 
let me change it to infinity. It will give you. So let's uh, add it uh, 300. Make it five percent, fifty percent, see first start with red. Then turns into blue, then yellow, then again green. Start with red. So I have all these things I have mentioned here. Starting with red in 25%, the color turns into yellow and added the property margin left. So wow, how it how it changes the position from here to here. So I have added just margin left. So it will take the margin left property when it comes to the 25%. Then here it takes uh, change the color. To blue and take the margin from the top and again it will come to the starting position on the 100 percent okay background color is red 100 percent start with zero and ends with and how why it is running continuously because i have changed the animation iteration count so this is the count of uh, animation iter animation so animation iteration count is the property which defines the number how what number of time that animation will happen so if i change it to four so animation will only <coughs> happen for four times one two <coughs> three and four then stop okay so you can you whatever you want uh, number of time the animation you can do so the animation name here the animation duration so you can define the animation duration as well it is 4 seconds so you can do it in 2 seconds as well okay so it will do fast so earlier it will happen the total animation will uh, take 4 seconds to complete now it is takes only two seconds to complete okay and animation delay you can add the delay from the start so if you have observed the whenever i refresh the page it it the animals does not start automatically or just after that refresh it will take some delay so i have added a delay of two seconds if i uh, remove the delay animation delay okay It will comes immediately after refreshing. So, so you you can try with any property, uh, whatever property CSS in CSS you have. You can shape change the shape as well. Okay, you can you can grow. So if I write transform here, so what I tell you earlier to transform. Okay, what was that scale? Na? scale by three. So see, so what happened? So it starts into scale into three, then again it comes to the in smaller. Okay. So if you if you want to rotate it, okay. So let's rotate it. Uh, transform, rotate. Um, not ninety one eight zero. See on on seventy five percent you will rotate. See? So that you can play with trans uh, animation thing. It is very interesting. You can do do uh, 
great things, great uh, animations you can do with help of CSS. Okay, so practice these things. Uh, the animation transform, whatever we have today is very interesting. First of all, first of all is uh, variable. Then uh, earlier we are uh, we are working with uh, static uh, uh, CSS properties, which we all know uh, more or less. So as today we have variable functions and animations. See uh, very interesting things uh, of CSS. Okay. So any question uh, in uh, animation? No, but I have to practice then. Okay, today's so topic is very short. Yeah. Uh, to the respective day. So you can check and practice, or you can uh, search on Google as well. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So if you don't have any question, we can conclude the call. No, thanks. Okay. No. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Thank you, Pritha. See you on Monday. Okay. okay thanks. Thanks, Pritha. Thank you.